Grab your keys. Michigan and Michigan State are both on the road this week for the first time and both have a lot to prove. The Wolverines are coming off a bye and hoping the extra rest pays off as they travel to number 13 Wisconsin at noon on Fox. Jim Harbaugh said this week that the team has focused more on ball security drills as they look to clean up a few fumble issues they had in their first two games. Harbaugh didn't offer much as far as injury updates this week, but starting left tackle John Runyon is expected to return, which should help shore up the offensive line. Michigan's defense will have its hands full, though, with Heisman Trophy candidate Jonathan Taylor, the Wisconsin running back who already has 302 rushing yards and eight touchdowns in two games this season. Oh yeah, and Wisconsin still hasn't given up a point this year. Let's head into the predictions. Aaron has Wisconsin winning 27 to 24. Andrew has the Badgers coming out on top 28 to 27. But I believe the Wolverines will snap a four game losing streak in Madison. I have Michigan coming out on top 24 to 21 and come out with the win there for the first time since 2001. Michigan State is also traveling across Lake Michigan when they travel to Northwestern at noon on ABC. The Spartans are coming off another heartbreaking loss to Arizona State despite outgaining the Sun Devils 404 to 216 yards on offense. The Spartans now face a Wildcats team that they've struggled with in recent years. Northwestern has won the past three matchups, but MSU is still favored by 10 points heading into Saturday. With MSU's offense struggling again against Arizona State, expect another low scoring game on Saturday. On to the predictions. All three of us believe that Mark D'Antonio will pick up his 110th career victory this week and move him into first place all time in Mission State history. Matt has the Spartans winning 20 to 10, Kyle has them winning 23 to 7, and I believe they will come out on top 21 to 14. Thanks for watching. Share your final score predictions in the comments below, and we'll see you next week.